Hello, my name is Robin Bauer Kilgo, and I'm the Connecting to Collections Care Coordinator. On April 20th, 2021, at 1 p.m. Eastern, C2C Care will be conducting a webinar called What's Best for My Collection New Approaches to Environmental Monitoring, presented by Susan Barger and Austin Sensman. Susan and Austin, why don't you tell us a little bit about what will be covered in the webinar we're planning? Well, I was interested in understanding more about what Austin's company is doing because I know that as a, a collections care professional that we do a really bad job of telling people what to do with all the data they collect when they're doing environmental monitoring. We say, well, you have to do it. You have to do it in order to get loans, to get accredited, to move up in the world of collections care. But a lot of times people just collect data and they bring it out when there's a survey or something. And so I saw that Austin's company is offering a free tool to help people understand this. And so I thought it would be good to see what he was about. Yeah, so what am I about? What's Conserve about? So we've put together a free set of environmental monitoring tools. Uh, we sell data loggers, but we also, in this free tool, you can bring your data from any logger and upload it into the platform. And our motivating idea is that people can have data but not have information. And so how do you get over that gap? You have all this data, you might use it for facilities reports or to get loans, but really the goal is to create a better collection environment. And so how can we create a set of tools that make that a little simpler, respecting the complexity of it, but uh, making it so that anyone has access to those tools and can, and can get that job done. And so Austin, part of what you're doing is this very modern approach of big data. And how will that improve environments for smaller institutions? Because I'm always worried about the smallest guys. Yeah, absolutely. So the thing we have to unravel is what is the relationship between the objects in our collection, the environments that they're in, and then the damage that's caused. And so we don't have an enormous amount of information about that right now, just as a community. And we think the way we're going to build that over time is to take data from lots of collections, small places, large places, and use that data to, to build models that help us understand what's actually going on. This experiment's already running all over the place. It's running in your collection right now, right? Diverse environments, diverse objects, and diverse kinds of damage. It's just a matter of us being able to observe what's going on, to measure it, and then we can build models that help us understand what to do. So it's a way for any kind of uh, collection to participate in this larger uh, story of building better understanding about what's going on, which, which is exciting for us. That's gonna help us, it's gonna to lead to better collection outcomes. I know I'm excited to kind of see what we're gonna be doing with all this data that I know I've been involved in collecting since the early O's when I started my career. So I think it'll be a good time to see it. Um, and it's important again to stress that the tool we'll be using is available for free. So anyone will be able to dump their data in there and start messing around with it, which is pretty exciting for anyone. So again, I'm just gonna remind everyone, you can sign up for this free webinar on April 20th, 2021 at 1 p.m. Eastern. Go to our website, connectingtocollections.org. Also there, you'll be able to view our webinar archives or take a look at a fun list of curated resources that you might find interesting. So hopefully we will see you there.